Hello friends, it is I, Self-Critical Automaton, and it is time to play video games with me, your good, good internet buddy. Specifically, Teardown, the game I've been playing and the game I- oopsie daisy, <laughs> that was weird. Uh, the game I've been playing and the game I intend to continue to play until I complete the damn thing, at least this time around. So, as always, let me know if there are audio problems, if you want me to tweak the uh, loudness of uh, myself, or indeed, of the game, in various different respects. Might be a little quieter than usual today, because I've got a bit of a sore throat. Bit of a cough. As is always the case. Because of disabilities, basically. I don't know why, but this is honestly one of my most fun things to do. <laughs> Throwing things into the air and target shooting them is really just uh, an enjoyable way to spend my time. Although now I'm wondering, if I blast holes in the roof, will the rain come through? <laughs> oh goodness, excuse me. Um, yeah, it looks like a little bit of rain comes through if you punch a hole in the roof. That's a nice detail. Anyway, I'm gonna dive into a mission because the missions are what's most fun. Anton Wolf. Hey, I've heard about your skills. Can you do a quick job for me? There's construction going on at the marina, some new dock or something, and there's high-end tools spread all over the place. I could really use some of them for an upcoming job. Can you get over there and collect them for me? Seems pretty easy. Whoopsie daisy. I'm not sure if we receive any pay for the missions themselves. Um, I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, the money you're paid for um, for missions is going on rent and uh, construction materials for your house and your mum's rent and the electricity bill and all of that stuff with only the loot you pick up in missions being a little bit of excess, a little bit of perks that you can set, uh, spend on uh, on upgrades for your many sinister tools and devices. All right, okay, so I guess the tools are alarmed, which is understandable, it's rather startling to be a tool. Okay, it looks like we've got something over here, something here, and something here. Then there's one over here, one here, one here. Oh, it's been a while since I've done this mission. Um, so I'm going to have a look at each of these in sequence and see what the deal is. Because if there are any of them that I can move or rearrange, that will of course be to my advantage. Also, if there is new construction going on, that probably means there's new loot somewhere. Well, no, I guess that's the new construction. And I guess the new loot is what we're here to steal. Okay, that's attached to this. But this itself looks extremely movable. Is this... Yeah, okay, that's a steel frame. So if I can lift this, this isn't connected to the ground, this is like a a loose object. So so long as that chunk of wall remains attached to the steel frame uh, and nothing snaps the cable with the tools, I should be able to move this box around and reposition it to make it a bit easier to steal. Oh, I can steal this, huh? I thought there might have been something in it. Nope. I still I still have this sneaking suspicion I've missed some valuables in this house, but I don't want to just... Well, it's not a house, it's like a community centre. I think the layouts are different each time. Is this bingo? Are these bingo cards? Yeah, this is bingo! <laughs> 
all the old ladies of the marina having fun doing, uh... Whoops. The gambling that you're allowed to do if you're an old lady at a marina. I think I already found the thing that was hidden in there. the roof? I'm sure I did. You never know. I might be a little bit quieter than usual due to that sore throat also. Uh, I guess I did. I guess I did uh, completely clear this place out. flashlight worth $40. That was definitely there before, I just missed it. Flimsy fucking bed. You can tell they buy all their shit from Ikea. Right. So this whole platform is floating, which means... That if I can get either a, a crane over here, or if I can maybe get a boat and then attach this floating platform to it, I can move this around as well. That's good. I'll probably use this. But if I'm going to do that, I'm need to, going to need to get these platforms out of the way first. Best tool for that, gun. I wonder if gun works underwater. Gun to water, if you will. Sometimes a battleship gets sunk, sometimes it's a scaffold. That's life in West Point Marina. I wonder if I could have just pulled the whole thing over instead of fucking about with bullets. Can I do that? Is it flimsy enough? Okay. This problem was simpler than it needed to be. Or it was simpler than I needed to make my solution, I guess. Alright, where's my exit? It's over... That's over there, okay. So if I tow it over there... Definitely make this a bit easier. Assuming I don't fucking sink the damn thing. Hi, Alice. It's just a little bit got holes in it. It's still good. It's still good. Here is a use of planks that I haven't really used before. You can use them to sort of staple objects together and drag them around, which is. What I would imagine ropes are for, not uh, planks, but still. 
that's weird. Why is it only moving one way? My boat seems to be unable to turn right somehow. I wonder if it's just caught on something. Unclear. I mean, if nothing else, if I can get this close enough to the to the land, I can pick it up with a crane. If I can find a crane. that I can't turn left. It seems to list constantly to the right. Maybe I could have... Hmm. No, if I cut the... If I cut away the metal, the alarm will probably go off as if I had detached it from the landscape. Think. Let's find out. Yeah, that does indeed happen. All right, well, crane it is. Good splishing and sploshing in this game. I don't think I've mentioned that before, but I really do like it. Shit, I can get a light bomb exactly where I want it for once. Fantastic. me just enough room to get my crane where I need it. Probably making this more complicated than it needs to be, but such is life when you're me. Even when I don't need to, I tend to take this gate off at the hinges. Just because it feels, feels satisfying, somehow right. So ends all scrap metal, thrown into the river by a miscreant. Graveyard of Iron Mongery. You know, if that thing would stop windmilling for two seconds. I may need to find some way to bring it closer. If I break this connection, can I drive this around and push it from the other side? I'm reluctant to turn around this thing.
vaguely has the energy of a cartoon shark going nom. Well, that didn't work. Perhaps I should be a little more gentle. I'm going to push these together first. Hmm, actually, you know what would probably work as well? If I was able to knock a hole in the canister and then put the laptop or whatever it is inside the canister, that would definitely make it less likely to fall and tear its alarm out. It's all about using your brain. See if we can sort that out first. Can I just lift it in? With nope. Alright, how big is it? that many. Get in there. Yes. <laughs> Try snapping now, you stupid fucking rubber band. Alright. Now we're cooking with diesel. Never cook with diesel. It's very bad for you. I can't be able to put these in the canal again. Tragically, you will not get to visit the grave of your ancestors. A handling of the vehicle this time at least. Although I now realise I forgot to move any of this shit out of the way. A vandal's work is never done. Tells you I'm not going to be able to javelin this over the wall. Oh, I guess I could uh, sideways javelin it over the wall, which is not really how you javelin things, but still. I slept on pipe bombs, I thought they weren't very useful, but they're actually more useful than I gave them credit for. If you know how to use them. This is a true fact in real life, if you wish to redact it. But of course, when you redact it, you have to be careful about redacted and redacted. Alright, this looks promising. Yeah, boy. The genius of larceny like, strikes again. Oh, 
I'm just going to reverse the whole way. <laughs> Otherwise I'm risk smashing my own crane to bits. This is promising. This is going well. And also, the Night Watchman is absolutely never going to be able to convince anyone this really happened. Got that bonus plausible deniability. That's what you really want as a petty thief. Although I think it's very unfair to call me a petty thief. I'm really more of a extremely grandiose thief at this point. Huh. That looks perfect. That's pretty much exactly where I need it to be. Alright. Um, okay, so that's very close to our exit. What else we got? We've got one there. We've got one there. That one I can move which I will also need the crane. Which means I can probably go grab, grab, grab at the end of this run. Oops. So, yeah, if I... I'll probably grab this, drive, grab this, drive, grab this. Unless these ones are also movable, which they may be. If that one's more movable, I mean, it might be nice actually to be able to just go like... Around like this. I might be overthinking it. This is I don't think this is a particularly tough mission. Now, can a crane go upstairs? An important question that not many people find themselves needing to ask life, generally. The answer is... Maybe? The answer is depends on the stairs. Oh. Thought we had it for a second there. Looks like we do not have it. that? Is there something secret down here? Why is... Is that rebar? What the hell? I don't see any else. Or anything else down here. Alright, I'm going to try and get this thing down here myself. <laughs> it's not so heavy I can't lift it, which is interesting. So if I smash this out of the way with my infinity shotgun blasts... just be able to tumble it down. So long, fucko. Gonna be careful that doesn't snap, but this is still promising. Out the fucking way. You know what, it looks pretty flimsy. I could probably lift one of these in real life. Let's just get that back inside it. Real neat. Oh god. Yep, 
You have a clip into a wall unexpectedly. Very disorienting. Alright. That those should hold it stable a bit. That that'll buff out. I'll just you know what, I'll leave a little note on his windshield. Like, sorry I dinged you with a portable office. You uh, you can go to my mate Barry, you know, at the garage on the high street. He'll give you a discount if I say I smashed your car on accident. Oh, what a mess. Oh dear. Alright, Crane, you're up again. Hopefully I don't need to use the crane again, because uh, I don't think it's going anywhere now. <laughs> okay, it's time to check out what the deal is on the other side, and also throw some trash around, because I'm a... Uh... Jesus, did I go straight through the dock? Oh, not quite. Today's special, same as yesterday. I'm just being vindictive at this point. Was this always here? Yes, it was. I just forgot about it. Mizaka Premium Spark Plugs. They taste a lot better than the normal variety, I can tell you, as a, uh, you know, an artificial intelligence instantiated on a logistical satellite. That's, generally speaking, something I would know about, definitely. Aha! Okay, here's the next one. Now, if I'm very careful here, I should be able to get this to dangle down a bit. Let's see. And if I do that, then... Shit. Hi, Trokantaze. It's always cool to see the uh, physics engine at work, though. Since the reason that happened was a, a bit of stuff fell on the top, which then pushed it the rest of the way down. Well, in that case, that was because I let it drop too quickly. There we go, that's more like it. Great, I can reach that without having to climb. That will save me an ambiguous amount of time. Oh, is that my car? I'm terrible at parking. Okay, up there. So I'll have to grab this one, grab this one, and then grab that one, whatever that is. Is that... Do, do, do. That's probably my best route, although it pains me to not take a boat from here to get out. It's probably my fastest route, yeah. Okay, right, so I want... Actually, if I start up there, I don't need to fuck about. 
which means if I put this car in position. Excuse me, goodness gracious. Put this car in position here. I can just drive it forwards. Which means I'm going to want to knock this fence out of the way. this as well. Alright, nice. I can get in here. And I guess I should just turn one of these vans around and drive the van the rest of the way, unless there is a better car around, in which case I'm just going to get these out of the way. You know, I really thought that would go through there. That's more like it. Okay, those are out of the way. Oh, I think we can assume that this guy is 100% safety first. He's wearing a hard hat, he's wearing a balaclava, he's wearing union emblems for a bunch of different unions, none of which he's in. You know what, that's fine, I don't even care. That's still attached to. Go, meet your forefathers. Become scrap metal at the bottom of a pier. It is your destiny. Hey, look, that remote control gate still tries to open. <laughs> That's kind of tragic. It's like watching a, a beetle with three legs missing try and, try and move itself around. Okay, so I drive that car, I slam it into, into here. Grab that, dra grab this car. Drive it. Oh, wait, I forgot there's something in here. So I might want to drive that car straight back over here, actually. Come in here, grab that. Exit through the wall, where I've got a waiting car over here. Which I guess should be this Range Rover. good. Then I bomb that over there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I'm going to try this without writing on the floor and see how well I do. It might be fine. You never know. Free, join your brother. Hmm. 
Not a lot of people know this, but scrap iron is actually of the cetacean family. It's actually a kindness to put them back in the water. They're not unlike beached whales. I think I've got everything set up. Just some casual violence, you know. Because I'm having emotional problems. Might be slower than running. Probably not, though. Well, okay, that was slower than running. I think I've got plenty of time. Got a little bit stuck there. Uh, I could probably pretty easily trim about 10 seconds off of that if I wanted a better time, but score chasing is enough. Uh, like getting all of the bonus targets is enough score chasing for me. I don't want to like refine my times too much. Oh hell yeah, new tools. Sticky bombs. Hell yes. Whoa. All right. Local man discovered to be uh, <laughs> a recent uh, small town terrorist. <laughs> when uh, experiencing death by misadventure with own bombs in own home. Good lord. Still don't know how to find the secret under that base, but whatever. Under this base. Oh yeah, also it's really funny to me that if you open a door too hard you can smash the wall with it. Like, it just lends more further credence to my headcanon that this man is absolutely jacked. The protagonist of this game is like, the swollest man in all of Shady Pines or whatever the fuck this place is called. Oh, hi Art. Oh yeah, I love the gameplay of this game. But uh, I love immersive sims, and this is like... I've talked about this previously, but this is basically the pure immersive sim. Except that you don't have... Uh, you know, people to watch going about and doing their things, and you don't have people to hide from, or anyone to talk to. So I guess it's not really an immersive sim, but it has the core component of what makes immersive sims interesting, to me at least, which is this um, dedication to designing a space that looks and feels and operates like a space should. In terms of, uh, you know, the behaviour of the physical objects and the interrelations of the space and the purpose and meaning of the space for what has been constructed. Right, like, right, there, there, there. next mission. Actually, I've got $200, what can I spend it on? Bomb. Nope, too expensive. Gun. Tempting, but I can only afford a few more. The rest of these are fully upgraded except the pipe bombs. I could get some more pipe bombs or I could get some more bullet. I want bullet. Hmm. 
Lockell City Council. Save the date. Lockell cele Celebration Day. Looking forward to seeing you at the upcoming Lockell celebrations. There will be concession stands, music performances, and an ice cream van. The Lockell Home Guard will do their annual parade at the end of the evening. There will be huge fireworks. Why the fuck do these guys have tanks? Scandinavian-style mediocre social democracy isn't really... I don't really associate that with, like, fucking... I don't know tanks. I, can, I know firearms. I don't know tanks. It's a shame. I, I don't know what to call these. Uh, I don't know. Tanks rolling down the city street. Anyway. Gillian Johnson. Good evening. I'm a claims adjuster at Kirthy Insurance Group investigating an art incident that happened to Gordon Wu recently. Mr. Wu claims to know who's responsible for the stolen paintings, Mr. Lawrence Lee Jr., but he's keen not to involve the police. Gordon's account has caused us some financial strain recently, and it's in our interest to bring back the paintings as discreetly and swiftly as possible. According to our intelligence, the paintings are hidden at the marina. I know Gordon's been working with you in the past. Perhaps you can help me out. Oh, fantastic. So not only are we play paying these two assholes against each other, we've now been hired to steal back the paintings that we stole in the first place. I think this one is like a really simple, easy- Oh wait, shit, no, I remember this one. Okay, we have to fucking go. This is all about speed. Because on this mission, uh, there's lightning. Lightning lights fires. Fires that get too big will set off the fire alarm. Uh, if the fire alarm goes off, we are in trouble. And we don't have time to set up or prep, we just have to fucking run and go. can potentially put fires out if you're if you really put the effort in but while you're doing that more fires are being lit elsewhere that's one Two over this way. I probably should have grabbed a vehicle, but you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. I think the lightning strikes are scripted. I think when you en enter certain areas of the m of the map, you get s certain lightning strikes, which you then have to deal with. Uh, I'm pretty sure that while I'm over here, there aren't going to be lightning strikes on the far side of the map. Um, which is reassuring. Yowza. I mean, if you think about it, in this one instance, I'm I'm a hero. I'm 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 great. I'm I'm heroic. I'm rescuing an important art heritage from from the consuming flames. Well, as always, I love the volumetric fog. <laughs> God only knows what's in this fire extinguisher. I'm probably getting 16 different methylesiomas at the same time, but you know what? It's worth it to protect our cultural uh, institution of important paintings. Where the, where the hell? Is that this one? Aha! Yoink. The thing is, you do actually have to put the fires out enough fire alarm won't go off. Uh, or you run the risk of getting in trouble. Alternatively, you can let the fire alarm go off and then just hurry as fast as you can, which is probably the more sensible option now that I think about it. Extreme range on the fire extinguisher as well. This boat super wasn't here before. I wonder if I can drive it. Uh oh. What? 
Oh, it's not in the boat at all. I'm a, I'm fucking losing my goddamn mind. is a fun change up. It's uh, the first time you play this mission when you get the sudden moment of panic as you realize that you, you know, you go in thinking, oh this will be an easy one. I can as long as I don't set the fire alarm off, it's fine. And then it's an issue of Oh Jesus Christ. It's especially uh, it's especially fun when you get the the kind of horrified realization when the fire alarm goes off, which is what happened to me. I was like, I was just prepping my mission and then not really paying attention, and then I realized that the fire alarm was almost completely full, <laughs> and with horror, um, I had to sprint, and obviously I completely failed the first attempt for that reason. Uh, it is also a thing because in some levels when you're playing around trying to get access to certain things it can be easy to accidentally light a fire. Uh, like if you're using... Oh, and the wet streets make it harder to drive as well, that's, a, that's another fun addition. little clink noise as we fail to smash the gates with our relatively small car. It should be alright, there should be a boat here somewhere I can grab. Oh Christ, there's no boat. That's more of a problem. Oh shit. Alright, new plan. Uh, I can't grab Where's my exit? Oh, actually, I can probably get out if I just run straight for it. I am indeed tearing down. Hi, Big Daiquiri. Narrower than it had to be, but I got everything and I'm perfectly happy. Does tearing down mean something? Oh look, he's finally taken the wall off so he can get his fucking bed in his bedroom. It's only been two weeks, Jesus Christ. This guy's worse than me as far as it goes when, uh, or rather as far as uh, doing projects is concerned. Oh, he's got a fancy juicer as well. I assume that's what this is. No, too bougie. We're a man of the working class. It's still rainy. Hmm. Oh look, he's harvested his carrots. So we've been at this long enough that his uh, beets and carrots are all ready to go. I wonder if where the cornfield is. Is he intending to just fully become a farmer? Or if it's a neighbor's cornfield, maybe. It's a miracle that the buildings are still standing. For once, this was not my fault. This shit would have burned down whether I was there or not. 
Nice job with the paintings. A little chard here and there. That's... I, I, I saved those way better than that. I'll have to find someone to retouch them a bit before they're returned to Gordon, but he won't know the difference. Oh, thank you for following, Robuck134. Um, I always appreciate a little bit of numerical acknowledgement that I did a good job. Guess what? We found a pattern for the recently visited locations in the GPS devices you picked up at the marina. It pointed me to Hollow Rock Isle Island, an old fish processing plant, now making some kind of energy drink. BT is short for Blue Tide. Why didn't I think of that? My daughter's addicted to that dis disgusting sugary sludge. I'm here right now. It's a bit worn down, but pretty. Better than last image. I'm still trying to figure out the mobile telephone camera. Most of the island is closed off to visitors, and they don't seem very interested in answering questions. I need to find out where the Lee payments go, and if I could just have a look in the Blue Tide computers, that might bring clarity. I was hoping you could do me this last favour. Never do a favour for the police, ladies and gentlemen, and non-binary friends, because they will keep on fucking asking forever. So this is our first mission at a new uh, location that we haven't visited before. And it's kind of huge. I think it's the biggest map so far, at least in terms of explorational detail. There is going to be a lot of stuff to see. It says there are wired alarm boxes. So what I'm actually going to do is explore this place thoroughly first. I'm going to look everywhere I can and find all the treasure I can. And then I'm going to start planning my heist. Oh, hey, fish. That's a nice detail. This crate is full of little pixely fish. I will return them to the ocean where they once swam freely. Well, that's interesting. I guess this is supposed to have subsided recently because there was a warning sign and a bunch of crap down here. There's a whole ass cave system in this one. Delightful. I think this mission was the last one I did before I stopped playing the last time I was playing this, so... Oh, these doors appear to be locked in some way. Are they just dumping their toxic waste down here? Also, it's a nice little detail. The soda that they make here is apparently the soda that was for sale at the marina. Uh, and in the machine in... Oh, hello. An air purifier. Oh, this is part of the fish packing plant. The fish comes down here through this and is put in boxes in this natural cave, which is extremely supervillain behaviour. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Truck and Thursday. That is a lovely image. This looks. I've seen. I've played enough Zelda games to know that a crack in a wall means there might be something cool behind it. Oh, interesting. Shortcut, perhaps. So I guess that cave is underneath whatever that building is. They've got like a gym going on. Everyone loves to exercise in the James. Yeah, I don't think I've any seen any levels past this point, and this is one of the definitely one of the last ones I ever did. In fact, I'm not sure I've ever actually done the heist on this level. I think I just explored it. Anything in the cash register? Eighty-five dollars. Nice. Traditionally, one does not leave the cash register full of money overnight for, for exactly this reason. All right, we've got something in this arcade, such as a bottle of gin. Anything in there? Nope. Whoopsie daisy. That's the difficulty with overhead swings, you don't quite know what you're hitting. What does this say? Water may be contaminated. No shit, there's a fish packing plant and a chemical facility. Oh, more fishies. Time to return them also to the ocean. Swim free, my friends. 
Aha, another cash register. Not doing quite so well this time. Tide Blue Extra Strong, limited edition. man has the instincts of a pawn shop owner. How does he know that a limited edition soda is worth $65? Oh, fuck. Actually, you know what? I should look to see if there's anything. No, just stone. That's fine. flat screen monitor that'll go in my lovely pockets just with just along with everything else techniques for hiding bitter taste questionable marketing super bible poster design guide essential one liners by dilip sequoia only worth $15 which is understandable <laughs> given what it is Big Dykery, are you suggesting that things that blow, glow blue are always worth $65? I'm not wondering why he knows it's valuable, I'm wondering why he knows it's $65 exactly. It's all locked. It's probably more of the fish packing plant. I should stream Hitman at some point, because... Uh, I did. I do love me some Hitman, and in addition to all of the lovely immersive sims that I also enjoy. Well, I mean, Hitman's arguably an immersive sim itself, actually. It's not not an immersive sim. It's, it's, it's complicated. Maybe his mother just sits at home watching The Price is Right all day. So he texts her whenever he sees something that looks valuable. He's like, is this valuable? And she'll say, $65, lad. Nice work. Quid's in, innit? Uh, right. An alarm clock worth $15. I feel like it's not really worth stealing from this man's shack. That feels a little bit less, you know... Uh... What's the word? Acceptable targety? Yeah, you know, maybe my next maybe my next stream series will be. Actually, no, I should go back and finish uh, Resident Evil One. But after that, perhaps my next stream series will be Hitman Bracket 2016. TV worth ninety dollar. Everyone's got the same picture in their bathrooms. Oh, there were more shelves in that shack. I should see what they say. Oh, these are the ones you can't read. Aha, bits of fish packing plant. A Sakawana fishing knife worth $50. Oh, that's one I hadn't seen yet, okay. Open a door like a cowboy and you'll never be disappointed today in your life. Right, and that, and that leads through to the secret fish packing plant. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, 
these uh, these homes are built out of toothpicks, basically. It would take it'll take them not very much money to repair it. It's more of a problem that I, uh, you know, steal their TV or whatever. That actually costs some money. All right, that's where we came in. So the cave is under that building. Alright, so that's the blue sky thing, that's the shop. This is a, is some kind of, is part of the packing facility and the fishing facility. Oh, another smashable wall. Well, I'm not stealing a corporate TV, am I? I'm stealing a TV out of someone's living room. Oh, okay, I'm approaching this area from the other side now. Oh, that's a thick wall. I wonder if there's something hidden in it. Oh, toilet secrets. Lovely. Portable FM radio worth $30. Again, the piggies are pretty slim here. There's probably more valuable stuff in the uh, fancy chemical plant. Crane, good to know that's there. They're always useful. Coming up now on Toilet Radio FM, it's the hits for the shits. Did I look in this shack? I don't believe I did. I think we're past judging whether or not this man is ethical. <clears throat> His descent into uh, misbehaviour began with destroying a, an important historical artefact. And has yet to end. Who knows what d depths of depravity he will yet reach. Oh, interesting. Sinister. Big pile of, of drinks cans. One of the target computers? A server rack? My god, a nerd lived here! A TV, a big pile of monster cans, pizza, Chinese food, clothes all over the floor. It's a lane core hellhole, such as one might find myself. That's one way to use sugar. What does that mean? Is this making the syrup to go in the soda? I think we can judge people for crimes committed out of poverty when they are committed against other people in poverty. Um, I think if you're breaking into someone's seafront shack and stealing their $40 television, you're probably the asshole. Even if you yourself cannot make rent. Stealing the corporate shit? Fine. But I'm, some of these shacks seem to be occupied by people who are not doing great. High speed labeling device.
feel like there's something hidden up in there. Up in that drop ceiling. I mean, most of the early missions I wasn't stealing corporate tools, I was just stealing shit out of people's houses. Stealing shit from rich people's houses, morally neutral, completely fine. But um, there was plenty of stuff at the marina that was, was like public property or people's houses and things. occurred to me the title of this place might be intended to be local. Like L O with an umlaut C E L L E. Is that supposed to be local? Are you dropping me hints, Big Dykery? Are you telling me I should look in the fridge? Because I used to check every fridge and I stopped. <laughs> This one doesn't open, so... Oh, it does have stuff in, though. Neat. Okay, that's the chemical plant. I haven't looked over there yet. It's worth looking here first. Is there anywhere I haven't checked? I haven't checked this big building up here. I think I've seen everywhere else. Ivory chess pieces. Now that's actually valuable. Now see, this is a house I don't feel bad about stealing from. That was just vindictive. Aha! Vacuum cleaner. It's not even a fancy vacuum cleaner, no special nouns. Or adjectives, rather. Secret basement. Everyone loves a secret basement. An Opus Juan vintage wine worth 180. Gold. Gold. Alright, okay, well that's indestructible to my current capabilities. <laughs> uh, come on. I want me treasure. Can I go in from underneath, actually? Apparently not. Ooh, I want it. Maybe there's something I can do to open it? I, I'd be surprised if I could get in from above. If I can't get in from beneath. Or this indestructible titanium or whatever it is. I want me valuables. Maybe there's a later mission where you can get in there. Oh, I haven't checked upstairs. Oh. A 
Aha, a projector. Another $70. Yeah, there's a big pile of gold and there's some mysterious other object behind it as well. So, the, I mean, it's definitely stealable unless... Binoculars. Uh, unless they're doing that thing where they've put something in there that you can never actually grab to make you, like, frustrated or whatever. Like, uh... That one uh, Fallout New Vegas expansion where they give you uh, the opportunity to steal a whole bunch of gold bars, but if you do that you're too heavy to escape. And it's supposed to be about the experience of not being able to get it all. It's the same fucking bathroom again. Everybody has the same bathroom. Rich or poor. The one thing that unifies all mankind is we all got a shit, unless you have... Uh, one of the unfortunate conditions that results in a colostomy bag, in which case I guess you don't. But it's still frustrating to uh, be able to see that there's stuff in there and not be able to get any of it. Like, I could, I could carry a gold ingot out with me, come on. Okay, no loft. Uh, I think that's all of the upstairs. Didn't realise there were two staircases, huh? Alright, lighthouse. Hmm, probably not. Where was... let's see. This is the... Yeah, so behind it is, is this, which appears to be impenetrable stone. There's even like a hatch or anything. It's a fire alarm, so I can't burn the house down. <laughs> Someday I will find a way to bust into that safe. Ooh. Precision fishing scale. Very nice. gear, not much of it, and not very valuable. Synthetic tar. Is tar not kind of already synthetic? Boat renovation for beginners, knots for fishing. I feel like this was actually housing an actual fisherman. Ah, there could be something in his ceiling though, which means... Unfortunately, I have no choice but to commit terrible property crimes. Uh, for no, for no avail. I don't see anything up there.
Maybe that was the uh, lighthouse keeper's hut. Since uh, boat renovation, and here is boat. Oh, hi, girl-like substance. Sorry for not saying hi. I did not see that you had arrived because I was so absorbed in exploring this new destination. Old TV. What's the, why even steal it at that point? I'll tell you what, though, if the spare bulbs for this thing, those should be fucking valuable. Carbon arc lamp worth two hundred and fifty dollars. Ah. <laughs> I love knowing things about the universe. Alright, nothing hidden under the building. You gotta check, you know. Gotta do your do do diligent. Do 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 diligence. The knots, in case you're wondering, are for tying boats, not people. Alright, time to examine the actual chemical facility. And I guess that's a warehouse behind it, and I don't know what this is. Ah, more locked doors. Luckily I have a key. Dual line telephone. You'd think a chemical plant would be a good place to steal shit. Do you think this will explode if I if I shoot it? It probably will. On the other hand, what if it's got treasure inside? find out. It's nice to be proved right. One of the ways to get through life is, as a treat to yourself, allow yourself to be easily proved right once or twice a day. Set yourself up for success. Some chemicals would be valuable. Why has this one got a red light on? Did something terrible happen in here? All the uh, all the chairs are knocked over. This is what's known as environmental storytelling. A bunch of pristine rooms with green lights and a re red lit room with shit all over the floor. And an active experiment. It doesn't matter if the air in here is poisonous, because this man already has uh, so many uh, cars, uh, carcinogens in him. His lungs are just solid bricks at this point. He's like Deadpool. All of the uh, all of the various carcinomas in his lungs are trying to eat one another at the same time, so he is miraculously mostly unharmed. Well, the way Deadpool works is that he has a, a healing factor, like Wolverine, so he's, his superpower is that he heals super fast. And simultaneously, he has all the kinds of cancer, So, and the cancer has completely mis metastasized, so his body is... Electric drill worth $35. Is um, constantly eating itself and regrowing. 
Um, canonically, his like body is like his his flesh is like writhing and wiggling at all times. Uh, as he as he constantly. Yeah, that's what I said, isn't it? Basically. I mean, it's not that his cancer also has a healing factor, it's that it's cancer and it's his cancer, so, you know, it's using his healing factor. It's not like a separate thing, it's... It's a part of him. Because that's how cancer works. How is there an entire warehouse with nothing to steal? That's not how warehouses work. They're great for stealing things. Or so I've heard. <laughs> Love a tiny eye server closet. This thing needs way more air ventilation. These, these racks are gonna overheat easily. Ah, oh, I uh, trapped myself in a box for a moment there. Happens to the best of us. Now why have they got a fancy ship all set up ready to go? Oops, <laughs> I just shot a hole in the bottom of the boat. Lovely. I lift this. Oh dear. Interesting. I appear to have clipped through. <laughs> Trapped myself inside their horrible fancy boat. I have a sneaking suspicion. Oh yeah, enjoy your ice poles. It's that kind of a day. I have a sneaking suspicion that the um the ships aren't supposed to be half full of water. It's just that the game has a single water level. Let me out! The game has a single water level shared, and uh, anything... At, anything under that water level is underwater. It just doesn't bother to differentiate between inside and outside of boats. It would not be the first game to go that route. It's hard to simulate an entire world, you know? Why is there not more stuff to steal in this fucking warehouse? Oh shit. Why is there a steel door in the trash? What were they doing here? Where would that steel door have been? All of these are glass. Maybe that was the previous door to the facility and they've replaced it with those heavier steel doors or something? Hmm. Is that like a charcoal smoker? Hi, Wuxrev. Oh, they're growing stuff in the garden as well. It is, it is kind of a lovely little island. It's a shame that it's occupied by an evil chemical facility. Oh, they're doing hydroponics and shit. So I guess whatever they're putting in the soda they're making from... Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me, so I guess whatever they're putting in the soda they're making out of these plants... Oh, I should grab that, actually. Extra potent plant nutrition. That looks explosive as shit. Aha! Fungimax synthetic yeast. Now, synthetic yeast doesn't sound like a real thing that could exist. Yeast is a, an organism, it's a living thing.
Oh, that's an interesting dream. Last night I dreamed, um, I was working in like a, a chemical, uh, like a, a chemical lab as part of like a crime scene investigation lab. And someone came to take me to a different department where I was going to work for a bit. And while I was walking, the scene changed in the way it does in dreams and became a, uh, instead became a, uh, what do you call it? Sort of a, a school. And I was being moved by a school administrator to a different room where I was expected to help re-establish a student organization. Um, and I objected that like we'd been shut down because people were vandalizing us and setting, setting fires in the bins and, and graffitiing and stuff. But um, nope, they insisted. And I agreed, and I met the others, and then uh, I went to go have lunch, and while I was making lunch, I was hanging out with my friend, who was, for the first time I've ever seen such a thing in a dream, a furry. I have nothing but respect for the furry community, but I've never had a furry character in my dream before. Uh, there was a white-furred bunny boy who was um, just hanging out with me in one of the classrooms, eating his lunch, while I made my lunch, which was a ham sandwich. Um, and I was working away on my ham sandwich, and I was horrified to realise that, um... The ham I'd been putting in it was, you know, it was very wet for ham. And it was a lot pinker than ham usually is also. And then I abruptly realised that I was in fact putting raw bacon into my sandwich. So I was very disappointed that I had ruined my lunch <laughs> irrevocably, and I didn't have anything else to eat. Um... And that was the dream that I had last night. I hope you enjoyed hearing my dream. My dream by self-critical or twenty twenty-three. Why is there nothing hidden up here? It's the perfect hiding place. I think I've found everything that's obvious to find. There might be more hidden stuff I've missed, but I think that's about it for now. So what I want to know is, if I leave, if I abort my mission, do I lose all the shit I found? I'm gonna quick save and then leave my mission. And hopefully I should be able to load the quick save. Do I have money? Yes! Delicious. Alright, time to upgrade some crap. Definitely want more bombs. Can't afford to get too many upgrades on this tracker. I would also like more bullet. I'm tempted to leave the damage at one for a gun since I use it for really precision destruction. don't really care for the pipe bombs, everything else is fully upgraded. So I can get some more bombs, I'm gonna get some more bombs. I should want to get the upgraded blast radius as well at some point. <clears throat> Alright, now at this point I would normally dive back into that mission and... Actually, you know what, fuck it. I was thinking about ending the stream, but let's go, let's finish this up today. Gonna ignore my new messages and go do my mission. Hollow Rock Island. Blue Tide Computers. I've got four, five, six, seven to steal. Can I construct a path by which I can smash all this shit? Okay. There's four over here and three over here. And there's not a lot of vehicles I can use. So I might be able to put this car here and then drive that to start grabbing things over here. And then, yeah, okay, so I'll grab these three, jump in that, drive to here, grab these three, grab this one, and then leave. That seems like a solid plan. Let's construct a path over here first.
Okay. So that can be accessible through a hole in the wall if I want. Where's this one? Oh, wait, where it is? It's in the lab underneath. I could probably use boats to get around as well if I wanted to. So that's under here. So if I went under... Under here to grab this one. And then I hopped in a boat. And I drove the boat around to here. Would that be faster? Probably. Alright, I'm going to try that for my first plan. Missing. In fact, I could jump, yeah, just jump straight on here instead of going in the, the thing in the first place. Where's a nice fast boat? That one looks speedy. Ah, oh, it is speedy. Nice, okay. Steers like a cow. You can't have everything. further. Ooh. Tight, but it's going to work. <laughs> okay, so that's the th that, okay, so that's step three. That has to be the end point of this. So if I should probably go grab that, grab that, go there. So where's that one? in wall seems to be one of the more effective methods in this game. Okay, so we grab this and we go that way. I need to be, do I need to be on the second floor? Where was it in this building? It's over here. Okay, and that's can I use that roof to get around? That, what do you call it? Pipe thingy. I think they'd hide treasure on rooftops from time to time, wouldn't you? Right. So I want to get from there to here, I might be able to put a plank. Like that. So I can run up to here, and then I can run from here up to here pretty easily. Then from here, I can get over here. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Wait, shit, my quick load was before I upgraded my shit. Do I still have... Ah, balls. Okay, right. Bought mission, re-upgrade my stuff, set this back up again. It'll be fine. Bomb. Okay, the upgrades are still there. That's fine. 
Oh dear. Right, missions. Hollow Rock Island. Okay, let's try that again. Let's take it from the top. You know, if I knock a hole in that side, I could go bonk, bonk, bonk. That might be faster. I still want a path between these two, though. Climb out. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh god, I got boxed again. Ah. Uh. to do. Alright, good. That gives me a landing zone if I can drop onto this. So instead I'm going to go grab that. That one, that one, in here, and then out the other side. <laughs> Boat from here to here, car from here to here. I might be making this more complicated than it needs to be, but that's fine, because it's a heist game. Play throwy shit out of the way. Might be easier to just burn this, actually. Keep an eye out on the fire extinguisher, but I'll let that lot burn down. It makes sense that a chemical facility might have relatively sensitive fire alarms. It's a concrete roof, right? It's not going to burn. I should have started the fire at one end and let it burn across. That would have been uh, the sensible way to do this. I think there wasn't anything explosive in there, I, I, it now occurs to me to think to myself. Hell yeah. They've gone to meet their brothers on the ocean floor. This is the correct way to deal with people you don't like, you throw their server racks in the ocean. The physical embodiment in this game is- oh fuck, I don't want that to burn. Uh, is one of, like, the best I've seen in a long time. Uh, very often games don't give you much physical embodiment, and especially games like this don't usually bother to embody you particularly interestingly. But you have a real physical sense in this game. You can yank stuff around and move it, and it's very satisfying and good. Encourage is a mode of play where you, where you, f you think about your 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 physical your physicality in the environment, and I think that's delightful and good.
Whilst engaging in a little abstract sculpturalism. That's not a phrase. Nobody says that. Oh, I should quick save. Don't want to lose my careful uh, setups again. Oops. Oh god, I'm in I'm in the vacuum cabinet. I don't want to be in the vacuum cabinet. 